If you just continue to bless me over and over and over, let that cup run up over. God, keep blessing and keep blessing and keep blessing and keep blessing. Because we are ready for overflow. We are doing a countdown, Facebook family, to Reset 2020 this Saturday. And we're ready for overflow. We're ready for God to do it above abundantly above anything that we can ever ask or think to pour us out a blessing upon blessing upon blessing upon blessing to do things that just blow our mind we're just ready anybody else ready on this morning anybody else ready on this morning just ready for God to do some great things ready for God to do the magnificent ready for God to take that blessing that prayer that we've been sending up to him in our private time, you, and we begin to manifest that thing yeah. in the natural yeah. realm. Facebook family, are you ready for God to do yeah. things that yeah. you never thought could be done? Yeah. The stuff that you've been seeking God's face for for five, yeah. 10, 15 yeah. years. Are you ready for God yeah. just to blow your mind? That situation that yeah. seems yeah. impossible, are you ready for God to blow your yeah. mind? That stuff you've been holding on to, you haven't told anybody about, you haven't told your spouse about, you haven't told your children about, you haven't told your parents about it. That stuff that's been sitting there eating you up, are you ready for God to blow your mind? Amen. You ready for the overflow? Just ready. Just ready. Just ready. And the guy taught me one time, say, this is how you this is how you get ready. You hold your hands out like that. It's a sign of surrender. Yeah. It's a sign to say, God, I'm waiting on you. Amen. To do what you're gonna do. Amen. Just hold our hands out, it's ready. Amen. Just hold it out, ready. But don't hold your hands too tight. Because that signifies I'm just I'm trying to keep it on to myself. Yeah. But just keep your hands out, just out ready. God, that's over and over and over and over again. Just pour us out of blessing. Amen. 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 It's good to see you guys on this morning. I'm just excited about God and the things of God. Now he continues to do great and mighty and magnificent things for us. We're in this series called Relationship 101. And we're seeking to build strong relationships that last. Amen? Amen. Strong relationships that last. Mm -hmm. And as we look at this particular chart, we are on the bottom left-hand corner. Communication. Amen. We, we just want to talk about communication. Mm -hmm. On how to relate to one another. Mm -hmm. Conversate with one another. Let's jump into it. Let's pray first. Father God, we just thank you for who you are. Thank you for being our king and our Lord God. We thank you for being our master. God, we thank you for all that you have done, all that you are doing, all that you continue to do for us. Father God, we thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Thank you for your joy. God, on today, we thank you for this word, a mighty word. We need your word. We need you to pour your wisdom, your knowledge, your tact, your skills, your ability out upon us. Open up our understanding. Allow us to receive what you would have for us, Father God. It's in your son, Jesus Christ, name that we pray. Amen. 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 So I took a little road trip this weekend. And as I was riding, I was listening to a YouTube video. And there was this guy who called himself an HR executive recruiter. And he's talking about how they recruit people. He says he has this friend, this fellow recruiter that would go and visit the client. And when they would visit the client, they would ask the client 
What do you need? What are you looking for? What is the ideal uh, 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 employee? And then they will begin to write down everything that that person so create them a checklist so to speak and then they would proceed to look in their database right. make a few phone calls right. and find the perfect candidate someone that matched every item on that checklist right then they would set that person up with the interview and present them to the client and he said, inevitably, each and every time, they would reject that client. So then he would go to the mall, go to a restaurant, go somewhere where customer service was required, where you had to have a good personality an ability to communicate and relate to people. Mm -hmm. He would find somebody that had about one third mm -hmm. of what was needed on the checklist, uh -huh. but they had good relationship skills. Right. And he would present them to the client. Mm -hmm. And then they would hire that person each and every time. Wow. The thing is, the client, yes, wanted somebody who could do all of the technical stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But what was more important to them was somebody who could relate yeah. mm -hmm. to people. Yeah. Right. Somebody who could come in to their particular organization yeah. and fit in. Right. Mm -hmm. And begin to communicate and build relationships with the other clients. Uh -huh. Somebody who had a personality that matched yeah. the personality of the actual organization. Somebody who could fit in their environment uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. and would not cause a problem. We can teach you the technical stuff, mm -hmm. but are you a good <laughs> fit? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Do your social skills mm -hmm. match right. the social skills that we need for this particular organization? Because we worked hard to create an environment here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to put somebody with great skills, right. but is a sourpuss when it comes to the environment in this particular area uh -huh. and create habit. Your skills may be great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But is your personality a good match Amen. for us? Right. Though we see it all the time in sports. Mm -hmm. You have a guy who goes to a particular team, and he gets to that team, and it seems like everything in that team begins to fall apart. Yeah. He has the skill set. Mm -hmm. He can shoot the J. He can put it on the floor. He can cross you over. He can rebound. He's a triple-double machine. Yeah. But his personality doesn't match the environment. It doesn't match the culture that is already there. So then he becomes a headache mm -hmm. to the organization. <laughs> and they ship him on to somewhere else. Yep. <laughs> and all of a sudden, that same person with that same personality is the best thing that team ever had. Wow. Why? Because it's all about relationships. Yes. As we said before, it is our willingness and our ability to relate to others that determines our level of success. Mm -hmm. It's not all about our individual talent, That's right. our skills, who we know, That's right. but it's about our ability yes. to relate yes. to other people. Amen. All right. My willingness to say, I'm going to find a way to build a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look up beyond our differences. Yes. You look this way, you think this way, you talk this way, you act this way. It may be different than me. Right. Your cultural background is different from me. Where you come from is different than me. Where you see the world is different than mine. Right. That's not going to stop me right. from having a relationship. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Right. 
I may be frustrated right now. I may have some stuff going on in my personal life. Yeah. That's not going to stop me from seeking to build a healthy relationship yeah. with you. Amen. Right. We may disagree on how this project shall be run. Mm -hmm. But just because we disagree on how the project shall be run, it's not going to stop us from having a healthy relationship right. with one another. I am willing the part. I am willing right. to work yeah. and yes. put forth the effort yes. to have good, solid yes. relationships. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's also about our ability. Yes. Because Daniel, it takes skill to build relationships. Mm -hmm. It takes skill to build long lasting, solid, healthy relationships. It just don't happen. Right. It don't pop out of the sky. Right. It takes skill. Right. It takes an ability to say, I'm going to connect with you. Mm. And I'm going to learn you and who you are as an individual. And I'm going to build this relationship with you. Does it just happen? But it takes work. And one of the things that we must be able to do is communicate. Right. To be able to share the thoughts running through our mind. Yeah. Yeah. To be able to share the stuff that's on the inside of our hearts. And to be able to communicate with someone in such a manner that they can receive what we have to say. Right. To be able to take all that technical stuff that we learn out of a book. Yeah. And be able to convey that to a person in such a way that they can receive it. Right. To be able to take this Bible and this love of God that we have mm -hmm. and this passion to make sure each and every person that we know gets saved. Yes. But if we have to take that information and share it with them right. in such a way that they receive it. Yes. That's right. Not beat them across the forehead with the word. Right. Amen. But to present them with the word and love. Yeah. Let me tell you why I love him so much. Right. Yes. Right. Let me tell you what he has done for me. Right. Amen. And I wish you would receive it, but if you choose not to receive it right now, I'm okay with that as well. That's right. Amen. I'll pray for you. Right. But I'm not going to demean you or degrade you or beat you up because you have not received it. I'm going to be somebody that's here for you. You got a question. I'm here. Right. Amen. And we can talk and we can pray. And when you have other issues, that's fine. We can still be friends. We can go yes. to the movies. We can go out to eat. We can do all that stuff. But I just want to let you know this is why I love my Jesus. That's good. That's good. But it's my ability to communicate that right. and relate that to somebody in such a way that they can receive it. Mm -hmm. And I can jump on the other side of the coin for a minute. It's our ability to receive that. Yes. Yes. Because yes. it's two sides of the coin. And we're going to talk about it in a second. It's communicating and it's listening. So you have to have the ability to communicate and share and talk and say what you feel. Yeah. You have to have the ability to hear what other people are talking about. Amen. Look at what it said right here, Ms. Yvonne. Look at this chart here. You, you've probably seen this if you're taking a class at work on communication or you took it in college. They talk about the communication process. They talk about this encoding and decoding. This encode is that thought that I have in my mind. The information that's in my mind and in my heart that I want to share with somebody else. Now, I have to put that in such a way that it can be shared. Yes, it's thoughts bouncing around in my mind. Yes, it's the feelings and the emotions that are on the inside of my heart. But how can I get that out of my mind, out of my heart, and to the person that I'm trying to communicate with? I encode it. That's what we call encoding. And then I send that message over to the recipient, and they have to take the information I shared with them and decode it. Mm. Yeah. What is he or she 
trying to say? What are they trying to relate to me? What are they trying to share with me? I have to take those words. <laughs> those words that they said. Yes. That made me something different if I had to use those same words. Right. Who, 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 who used the same word, but it has five or six different meanings. Right. I got to be able to take that and the feelings and the emotions yeah. that come with it yeah. and be able to decode it. Right. And then understand what you're saying and then provide feedback. Provide, provide, pro provide you with an answer so we can hold a conversation. Because this is, once again, this is not you preaching to me. This is a conversation right. that we're having. Right. So it's a continual process. Yeah. Right, right. But it's somewhere in this message portion, in that encoding and decoding, somewhere in the middle there, that we find ourselves in trouble. <laughs> Because as I encode it, I know exactly what I'm trying to say. Right. And I send forth the message that I'm trying to say. But for some reason, when you decode it, and then you send it back to me, what I said is not what you received. Mm. Yeah. Amen. So now we have a misunderstanding. Yeah. Now there's confusion. Now I'm talking to Andre. We have a pretty good relationship. I say something, encode it, say it to him. He decodes and receives it, but he thinks I'm saying something totally different. Mm -hmm. And it touches him in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. yes. And now but instead of him coming and saying, well, what are you trying to say? Uh -huh. He walks away, and we never really get that issue resolved. Yeah. He think I'm saying one thing. I think I'm saying something else. Yes. I think it was a pretty good conversation. Amen. <laughs> but because we don't sit here and talk about it again, yes. the encoding process and the decoding process have become all discombobulated, and now we got confusion. Yes. We got all types of stuff going on. See, in between, mm -hmm. that's where the feelings get hurt. Mm -hmm. That's where the anger comes from. Yeah. Yes. That's where the broken relationships come yes. from. But it's also where the connections are made. Mm -hmm. That's where we really make strong connections with one another. Right. Why? Because it's in this encoding and decoding that I'm sharing my heart with. I'm sharing my mind. I'm sharing my innermost secrets with you. Yeah. I'm, I'm sharing my dreams and my visions. And I'm, I'm, let, I'm letting down that wall so that you can come on the inside of me. And I'm sharing everything about me with you. Right. So it's right here in this middle, in this yeah. encoding and decoding, yeah. that we build this strong that I learn about who you are, yes. your thoughts, yes. what makes you tick, right. yeah. what makes you say some of the things that you say, yeah. what makes you act the way in which you act at times. Right, right, right. All comes about as I begin to communicate with you and get an understanding through that decoding. Right. Relationships are made and broken. Yeah. Right here. All right. Yeah. Yes, Relationships, the bridges are made. Yeah. Yes. The bridges are broken. Mm -hmm. Right here. All right. Relationships are empowered and relationships fail. Yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. If we get this part right, yes. marriages will grow. Father-son relationships, mother-daughter yes. relationships. Some of us get the promotion that we've been waiting for. Yes. Right here. Right. We get this part. The encoding and the decoding. Mm -hmm. Because the whole point 
is to communicate in a positive, productive manner. Mm -hmm. Amen. You trying to get out here? Because see, anybody can communicate. Mm -hmm. Anybody can say certain things. Yes. But can you communicate in such a way that not only does it move the conversation forward, mm -hmm. but it brings us closer together? Amen. Amen. Can I communicate in, with you in such a way that I'm sharing with you that which is on my heart, that which is resonating in my mind? Can I share it with you in such a way that you can grab hold of it and now we walk together? Yes, amen. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. We might not agree with everything, yeah. but we respect one another. Amen. Mm -hmm. I respect you for your opinion. You will respect me for my opinion. And we might not agree, but we're going to walk. That's right. Amen. I got your back. You got my back. Why? Because I understand who you are. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but what happens a lot of times is we communicate and we find ourselves going through some issues. We allow this decode and this encode to get in the way. And we say stuff we have no business saying. Right. Amen. Amen. That's true. Now instead of having positive, productive communication, he is saying something he has no business saying. He is saying something he has no business saying. All now we have is these four little words flying around. <laughs> <laughs> Insults flying around. Right, yeah. right. Yes. Poor view of one another flying around. Yeah. Anger flying around. Animosity flying around. I dare you talk to me like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. Her feelings flying back and forth. Oh, yes. All because we have not taken the time to encode and decode. Yeah. Right. All because we're not whole having positive, productive communication. Yeah. Right. We got to just very positive, productive communication. That's the goal. Not just to speak, but can we speak in a positive, productive yeah. manner? Right. Not just to share, not just to, let me use that word, vent. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not just let all that anger and frustration and animosity out of ourselves, but can we communicate in a positive, productive manner? That builds the connections. Yeah. That right. builds the relationships. That's right. That builds a relationship that will last. Yeah. So for the next several weeks, I just want us to talk about keys mm. to building positive, productive communication. Okay. Keys to positive, productive communication. Let's look at that first. Let's see, Bob. Number one, communicate. From a pure heart. Yeah. We touched on this a little bit last week. Show, show that next scripture, Miss Mom. Go look at this scripture right here. You broad and vipers. Yeah. How can you, being evil, speak what is good? For the mouth speaks out of that which fills the heart. Yeah. We talked about the fact that out of the heart, the mouth yeah. speaks. Yeah. That stuff that's sitting in our heart, that's resonating in our heart, mm -hmm. that stuff that has not been addressed on the inside of our hearts, mm -hmm. that stuff finds its way flowing out of our yeah. heart oh, yeah. and out yeah. of our mouth. That's right. Yeah. Amen. From a positive standpoint, if there's love in there, that love is going to flow out. Right. If there's joy, if there's peace, if there's encouragement, if there's empowerment on the inside of our hearts, it's going to flow out. Yeah. And we encode, we would encode messages that say, I want to empower you. Yeah. I want to encourage you. Right. I want to love on you. I want to love yeah. on you with these words. I want to share some good things. Yeah. You just look yeah. good today. I just yeah. want to tell you, you look good today. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate yes, you today. Lord. Yes. How grateful I am for you today. That stuff flows out of the heart. Right. Mm -hmm. But if that heart is filled with anger, and frustration yeah. mm -hmm. and animosity Amen. and bitterness, that stuff will flow out as well. Yeah. 
You guys remember the movie I Can Only Imagine? Mm -hmm. You remember Bart's dad? Yeah. Bart's dad thought he was this great football player and thought that he should be in the pros, mm -hmm. but he never did get that shot. Right. So he believed that all this working to become a football player was just which was just a waste of time. Mm -hmm. That his son should be spending his time getting a good education so he can get him a good job down at the factory. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when his son is out there trying to play football and trying to chase his dreams and eventually wants to become a singer, like quit wasting your time. Yes. Right. He had all this bitterness on the inside of his heart. That's right. And he was yes. destined to give all that bitterness to Bart. Oh yeah. And he well. did it. Now when Bart got old enough and he got him a girlfriend and life yes. started falling apart on him, who did he reach out and, and, and act mad towards? Who he who he share his bitterness with? Yeah. The devil. Mm -hmm. He took his anger out on her. Amen. Hurting people hurt other people. Amen. Right. Hurting people hurt other people. If we have unresolved issues in our heart, yes. those unresolved issues will find their way out of our hearts and out of our minds. Right. Yeah. That stuff that happened to us 5, 10, 15 years ago, if we have not addressed it, it will find its way out of our heart. Right. If somebody says something to us that we did not like and we did not address that issue, eventually it's going to find its way out of our hearts mm -hmm. and out of our minds. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Yes. It's a little sly comment that we say, I ain't paying them no attention. Mm -hmm. If we don't really deal with it, it will find itself yeah. out of our hearts and out of our minds. Right. And what happens? In an inopportune time, an unguarded moment, yeah. something is said, and we say something we have no business saying. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Did we mean it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did we mean to say it that way? No. Right. The stuff that's on the inside of our yes. heart that's been sitting there festering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why forgiveness is so important. Thank you, mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why grace is more yeah. important. So oh, yeah. yeah. Offering mercy to people Thank is you. so important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I say I'm going to deal with this. Let's, let's yeah. sit down and just hold a conversation. Yes. Deal with it's it. So important That's right. because it allows us to deal with that issue resonating in our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Because the enemy knows the devil. Mm -hmm. Put that out there too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Mm -hmm. He tap dances on that issue. Yes, it does. And he just tap dances and he tap dances yes. and he tap dances. And he knows that we are not taking care of the issue that is there. He yeah. knows when to press the button. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we begin to address the issues, yeah. Yeah. cleanse our hearts. Yes. If it's nothing but I'm going to sit down and I'm going to pray unto God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. I didn't like what happened. Right. I didn't like the situation. Right. I thought it could have been handled in a different way. Yeah. But maybe it's just me. So let me sit here and pray about it. Yeah. yeah. God cleanse me. Yeah. Yes. Right. But right. maybe say God created me right. a new heart. Yes. Lord. Renew my spirit. Yes. Right. Same thing, same, same thing. I need to cleanse me. Yeah. So that as I'm communicating with you, I'm not communicating with the spirit of bitterness. Right. You wasn't even there 15 years ago, but it's still sitting there. Right. <laughs> yes. And because it's still sitting there, everybody else that reminds me of that situation yes. gets that same bitterness. Right. That yes. same anger. Yeah. That same frustration. Right. All that stuff that's in there flows out. Right. You got to communicate with your heart. Gotta cleanse the heart. Right. So that as we begin to encode and decode, we're encoding, decoding, giving the person the benefit of the doubt. 
We're encoding and decoding what the mind that says, I want to build a strong, lasting relationship. Not with a heart that's bitter. Not with a heart that's full of anger and frustration. But a heart that says, let me build a connection. All right. Amen. Let's get that next one, Miss Simone. Get that next one. Get that next one. Communicate with empathy. Yeah. Right. Empathy. Let's look at what we mean by empathy, Miss Simone. Get that next one. This is a book by a guy by the name of Bento Lilo. He wrote this book on the keys to effective communication. Mm -hmm. And he decides that empathy is the primary thing that we all need to communicate better. Mm. So look at how he defines empathy. A word that we use through most relationship skills programs is empathy. The ability, a developed skill actually, to vicariously put yourself in another person's shoes and try to see from their point of view, their world, their perspective. Trying to see life from the perspective of the person that we're communicating with. Right. This person that's talking to me, what have they been through? Right. What about their background, their life, allows them to communicate in such a way? Right. This person that's listening to me, as I begin to encode my message and share that with them, what have they been through? Right. Will they receive what I have to say in this manner, or is it going to cause a heartache? Right. Those of us who study public speaking, we say, know your audience. Right. That's right. Know who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. If you ever taught a class, you want to know your audience. Mm -hmm. The examples I use in one audience won't work in another audience. Right. Amen. It won't relate to them. Amen. The same thing happens. That's why I begin to communicate. Know my audience. Who, who am I talking to? The corporate guy at work may not understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. Pookie understands exactly what I mean. Yeah. Right. So let me communicate with Pookie this way. Mm -hmm. Let me communicate with this guy over here at work. Right. I'm the same person. I'm not being fake, but I know how to utilize my words in different settings to get my point across. Right. Amen. Yes. Very good. Communication. Yes. Amen. Amen. So he says, communicate from the point of view of the person. Right. Look at how Paul puts it. For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all. That I might win more of them. To the Jews, I became as a Jew in order to win Jews. To those under the law, I became as one under the law, though not being myself under the law, that I might win those under the law. Right. To those outside the law, I became as one outside the law, not being outside the law of God, but under the law of Christ. That I might win those outside the law. To the weak, I became weak. Mm -hmm. That I might not, that I might win the weak. Listen to what he says. Listen to what he says. He says, I have become all things to all, mm -hmm. that by all means I might save some. Right. I do it all for the sake of the gospel. Right. That I might share with them in its blessings. Amen. I have become all things yes. to all people wow. that I might by all means save them. So. Amen. Paul says, when I'm with Joe, I learned Joe. Mm -hmm. I understand what Joe is all about. And I build this connection with Joe. And I relate to Joe in a way in which Joe can receive it. Yes. Right. I don't show up talking to him about things that are going to be disrespectful to him. But I learn who Joe is. Yes. So as I begin to share the good news of Jesus Christ with him, I'm not disrespecting him. Amen. I've learned to look at him through the lens in which he lives. Yes. Amen. 
his personal worldview, yeah. the way he looks at life. Yeah. Right. Now, as a communicator, I share with him based upon him. Mm. I build a connection with him based upon that. I empathize with him because I built a connection with him that allows me to see him. Yes. Now I understand why he looks at this situation at work this way. Yes, that's right. Because I've gotten to know him. Yes, right. And I've learned to sit in his seat. Mm -hmm. I learned to walk in his shoes. Right. Now I understand what he means. I'm not him, but I've taken the time and through my willingness to learn how to relate to other people, I've learned what he means and I've learned how to make a connection with him. Right. I, I learn what my girl over here thinks. I understand why Denise is kind of bitter and frustrated. So I listened to her talk, and she's had a bad childhood. Right. A lot of stuff happened to her. Yeah. So now, when she's kind of rude at times, hmm. it's not because she's just this bad person. She just don't trust people because of some of the stuff that took place in her early childhood. Right. Amen. So now she, now she keeps you at a distance. And if you try to get too close, she may snap at you mm -hmm. until she really begins to trust you. Uh -huh. But when she actually does trust you, Amen. she'll let you in and she'll do anything for you. Right. But you're not getting in there too easy. Because right. <laughs> she don't trust people. Right. Right. But I've learned to look at life from her perspective. Amen. And if the truth be told, I think I might be the same way if somebody had did that to me. Right. So instead of judging her, yes. I'm going to learn to relate to her. To condemning her, right. <laughs> I'm going to learn to relate to her. Right. Still saying, I'm not going to be bothered with her anymore. I have a willingness to build a long-lasting relationship with her. Yeah. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put aside what my differences are. Yeah. I have no idea what it feels like to go through what she went through. But I can listen to her and learn. Right. Amen. Building long lasting relationships. Go to the next one, see that. Number three, communicate with an understanding of the power of emotions. Being able to communicate with somebody with an understanding of the power of emotions. Mm -hmm. Being able to relate to them based upon the understanding that communication. Communication is more than just the words that fly out of our mouths. Oh, yeah. Yes it, yes, it is. But sometimes the words that fly out of our mouth are about part of what's going on on the inside of us. Yes. If there's anger on the inside of me, as we just said, that stuff is just in my heart. I'm going to communicate with that anger, mm -hmm. with that bitterness. Yep. With that frustration on the inside of me. Those feelings of it. If I'm feeling stressed and I feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders, the person who was nice on Monday might be difficult to deal with on Tuesday because they feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders. Oh, yeah. There's a deadline approaching on their job, but if they don't get this done, they may get walked out the door. So right. they're kind of snappy right now. Yeah. They haven't had proper rest. Right. They're not getting enough sleep. Mm -hmm. They're stressed out about some stuff going on at their particular household. Oh, so good. now they seem much so distant to everybody. Yeah. Nasty towards people. Yes, yes. The stress of life mm -hmm. is affecting the way they communicate. The emotions on the inside of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's all somebody in their family. They didn't come to work and tell everybody, but one or two people may know and they can see it's wearing on. And they don't want to act the way they're acting. You know they're a nice person. Yeah. But the stress of life, mm -hmm. the emotions, the feelings and things that they're going through right. is weighing on them. That's right. Yes. Go to that next one, Daniel. 
I have a scripture for you. Also, I have a, a quote for you. Same book. Same book. This is what this guy says. He really opened my eyes to this. Listen to what he says. Because when somebody wants to express in words what they are feeling, their wants, desires, concerns, etc., they take those feelings and cycle them through their brain to try to come up with the best words, vocabulary, to explain those feelings in a coherent way. The words they choose and the sentences they say are the best they can come up with in that moment. Right. Y'all follow me? I got some stuff going on on the inside of me. I'm trying to say this. I'm trying to come up with the right words to express these feelings and these emotions on the inside of me, right? Listen to what he says. If you listen only to the words, then you might miss a lot right. of the underlying meaning. Right. Only a small percentage of an iceberg is above the waterline. Mm -hmm. That's good. Most of it is underneath yes. and unseen. Mm -hmm. Likewise, if I listen only to the words you say, and with only my definition of those words, then I might get only a surface understanding of what you are trying to communicate. Yes. Right. So if I only grab the words yes. out of the sky mm -hmm. and decode just merely the words themselves, mm -hmm. I'm missing out on all the feelings yes. and emotions that go with that yes. that are conveying a deeper meaning right. to the words of which I'm trying to convey. Yes. That's right. So this is what he says to do. But if I try to listen through the words to grasp our, your underlying meaning and intent of the words, I have a greater chance of getting to and understanding your deeper thoughts and feelings. Yes. So if I grab the emotions, yes, yes. grab the words, mm -hmm. have an empathy with you and understand yes. where you are coming from, yes. understand who you are, then I have a better chance of getting a full picture yes. of what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Not just a small picture. That's right. Not just bits and pieces of the information, okay. but as if I listen to the whole thing, yes. grab everything out there with it, then I get a picture of the whole message Amen. that you're trying to convey. Mm -hmm. Lady Anne is an emotional communicator. She communicates with her feelings mm -hmm. and her emotions. But I, on the other hand, I am a literal communicator. I believe, say what you mean, mean what you say. And when you begin to communicate to me, I take every word literal. Right. Yes. Well, that causes problems in the house, Danielle, because sometimes I miss all the feelings and emotions that come with it. Yes. I'm just grabbing a hold of this is what you said today. Right. <laughs> now this is what you were saying this day. Yeah. But I missed all the stuff in between. Yeah. All the feelings. Amen. The stuff that was deep in her heart as she began to communicate that. Mm -hmm. I grabbed the words, put them in my back pocket, and now I'm waiting for something else to happen. And when it doesn't happen, I'm getting frustrated. But if I would just learn to listen with my heart to it. If, if I would just learn to put myself in her shoes, when I do that, that's where the communication runs. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. When she begins to put herself in my shoes and understand that my husband is, she say, like this straight man. My husband, that's my husband. That's how she describe it. He's just so straight. <laughs> But when she communicates to me, when she gets that part, let me let me talk to the straight guy like this. That's right. That's right. Then we communicate. Mm -hmm. But it's a matter of us understanding our communication styles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Understanding where she's coming from that allows me to connect with her. Yeah. And I may not understand all the feelings and emotions and stuff that go with it. 
but at least I can try to grab hold of some of them and get what I can get. That's empathizing. Right. That's communicating from the heart. Yeah. That's understanding that communication is more than just the words, but there's power in the feelings as well. Yeah. Amen. Being able to understand what she is saying. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of us out there who can grab hold of that example. Yes. We have relationships with friends, yes. relationships with children, and we seem to be button heads all the time. Mm -hmm. Could it be that we're communicating in two totally different languages? Amen. Amen. Could it be that we need to start listening yes. for the emotions and the feelings behind the words. Yeah. Right. Could it be that we need to start empathizing yeah. with one another? Mm. Communicating from our hearts. Yes. Understand that communication is more than just the words, yeah. but it's a whole kit and caboodle. Mm. Words, yeah. emotions, mm. feelings, mm. Yes. verbal, Nonverbal, all right. this stuff works together. Right. Encoding, decoding, all this stuff works together to convey the message. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can we encode it and decode it yes. in such a way mm -hmm. that it conveys a positive message? Amen. Can I talk to you in such a way? that you can receive what I have to say. Mm. Can I listen to you yes. in such a way that I'm able to understand what you are saying from your perspective? Mm -hmm. Because the whole point is for us to build lasting, strong relationships. The whole point is for us to have positive, yes. productive Amen. communication. All right. So we have to be willing yes. to put forth the work that's right. going to allow that to take place. Mm -hmm. And I have to have the ability mm -hmm. that allows me to communicate in such a way yes. that I receive what they have to say. Right. Yes. Amen. And I believe we can do it. Oh, yeah. I believe that each and every one of us can build the skill set necessary to be a positive, productive communicator. Right. Amen. Amen. I just want to make sure you're willing. Mm. Amen. You're yes. willing to put forth the work. Right. Amen. You're willing to let the past pain go Amen. and put forth the work. Right. Amen. The past hurt relationships to go. Yes. Yeah. And build right. strong, yes. lasting relationships. That's right. Amen. Amen.